Hello students and welcome to an asynchronous video lecture on the adaptations during prehistoric ages. We're looking at our unit goals and this particular video helps you with goal number three, which asks us to describe how human communities adapted to a variety of environments. We're dealing with prehistory here, so what does prehistory mean exactly? Well, prehistory occurred before writing was invented. And historians, archaeologists, and scientists rely on the fossil record and artifacts that they've been able to excavate in order to help them get a picture of what early prehistoric life looked like. Now, this includes the Ice Age and a variety of species of hominids. Early people were required to adapt to their environment which means that we're covering, um, you know, early hominids who lived mostly in caves and had super basic stone tools to hominids that were more advanced in a hunter-gatherer society where they were able to migrate to find resources all the way up to the earliest farming communities. So this particular video lecture will give you the complete picture of prehistory. In your slide deck, you have a slide that looks like this. And this is where you'll record the notes from this video. So each one of these colored boxes represents a different time period during the prehistoric ages. And the notes that belong in those boxes will be covered right now, right here with me. So you're going to want to pause this video as often as you need in order to make sure that you get all of your notes recorded. The first era on this timeline is the Stone Age which is divided into three different categories. The first part of the Stone Age is the Paleolithic era. Now, during the Paleolithic era, people lived in caves or simple huts. They migrated really often to follow the herds and their sources of food, which means that they became really good at hunting and gathering. Men would hunt prey, women would gather fruits, nuts, and berries, and they all worked together to be able to survive. Now, during the Paleolithic era, early man also discovered fire and was able to cook their prey using fire. P fire has a lot of other uses that you'll learn later on in this lesson arc, but um, this time period was really about discovery because they had basic stone tools and they started to create cave paintings to leave a lasting impression or a lasting picture of what their life was like. After the Paleolithic era, it was the end of the Ice Age. Now, the end of the Ice Age is important, not just because all of the ice melts, but because when it melts, it causes the sea levels to rise. It also resulted in the extinction of a lot of really large prey like woolly mammoths and mastodons. And ultimately, this caused early people to migrate or move around even more. After the end of the Ice Age, we have the old stone, or sorry, we have the, after the end of the Ice Age, we have the Mesolithic era still part of the Stone Age, but kind of the middle piece. During the Middle Stone Age, people used more complex tools, they were able to use more materials to make their tools, so it wasn't just about stone anymore, it was also about using wood, bone, antlers. People migrated a lot less often because they were starting to set up camps, and usually that was near a river, which was a really smart choice because they started to discover what agriculture was. They started to think about what would happen if they planted seeds and what if they didn't have to move so much because they could start to produce their own food closer to where they lived. So people only migrated with the seasons as opposed to migrating to follow herds. Eventually, we reached the Neolithic era, which is the New Stone Age. And this is a really exciting time in history because it changes everything. People stopped migrating. And they shifted from hunting and gathering to being food producers. They got into agriculture, which is farming and herding animals. They domesticated animals to make them useful to them. So that's when domesticated dogs and sheep and chickens and cows start to pop up in prehistory. It's also when they developed more sophisticated tools and made advancements in how they constructed housing, art, weaving, pottery, sewing. Pretty much everything gets better in the Neolithic age. Eventually, this leads us to the Bronze Age, and that's when things really start happening. There were established farming communities, which means people got really good at agriculture. That gave them time to discover metalworking. 
and gave everybody different jobs. That's called division of labor, when you can specialize in a job that you're just really good at. So that meant that some people were tool makers and weapon makers, and they did that using bronze metal instead of just stones and bones. And then other people started producing a variety of clothing. And still more people started organizing government, laws, religion, warfare. And eventually, they invented writing. And that's what ends the period of prehistory and takes us into history. Because then we get written records that describe what life was like for early people. So at this point, you should have a totally complete Google slide. I can't wait to see you during our next synchronous lesson where we'll talk more about what life was like during the prehistoric times. Thanks for joining me.